Why did I move here? I guess it was the weather. Or the... I don't know, that thing. That magic. You see it in the movies. I wanted to retire from what I was doing, you know? From that, that line of work. Be a good guy for once, a family man. So, I bought a big house, came here, put my feet up, and thought I'd be a dad like all the other dads. My kids would be like the kids on TV. We'd play ball and sit in the sun, but, well, you know how it is. game for a lot of years and I got out alive. If you want my advice, give the shit up. Skeletons in your closet. It's in the gum outside. The guns and crank in this area go through Trevor Phillips Enterprise yes. or they ain't going. I'll swing by and sign the contracts, alright? Just ignore the bodies. Can you tell me where Berto Beach House is? That house right there, with the yellow stairs. I don't care how many cars you own, you ain't changing. I'm getting my money in the hood, I'm cool. Cool what? Slanging dope and throwing up gang signs? Your son, James. He's a good kid. Oh my god! Hey, let's bounce. Bounce. We're bouncing. That's Trevor, my best friend. That's Franklin, the son I always wanted. Yeah, whatever. Jesus, your therapist has a lot to answer for. Uh, it's What do you want, Michael? I don't know. I want something that isn't this. Dad! Jimmy, call me a bitch! I want to be a good dad. Love my family. You live the dream. Why do I have to hold your hand through this whole midlife crisis bullshit? Come here! Don't kill him! But at the same time, I really want the other stuff too. And you're plainly addicted to chaos. Well, I'm not sure that's true, Doc. <laughs> I'm rich, I'm miserable. I'm pretty average for this town. I think you need a new therapist. All we hear is Radio Gaga, Radio Goo Goo, Radio Gaga. So you giving me a lecture about not being a good enough gangbanger? That's all we got? That's our heritage. I thought we was trying to get out of this bullshit. You sounded more and more like a snee eye yes every day. I sound like somebody trying to make some paper and not get killed. 
Oh, my bad, Mr. Gold Card. Mm, courtesy of a hundred beat. Got my trips and essays in all reach. Ah, gangster shit. You ain't got no respect. Y'all got respect for reality. Enjoy them hoes, homie. Yeah, whatever. I ever tell you about Trevor? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Major drug deal. Real hillbilly type shit. Bring me my coffee, I'm gonna cut your arm off. Oh, it's the same <coughs> old tune. Fiddle and guitar. Back in town, oh, baby! Yeah! Come, please, just go and ruin somebody else's home furnishing. Limestone oh. suits and oh. New in town, I'm making friends, all right? A lot of friends. I mean, things could get really messy. Just keep him away from me and the children. Nice new tits, by the way. What is wrong with you? Not abandonment issues. I see a shrink once a week. Get a shot, amigo. Massage! Uh, no, no, I really don't... Do you want me to get my dick out again? But I don't think Hank done him this way. No. I don't think Hank done him this way. With Grand Theft Auto V, Rockstar have tried to reimagine the open world game in a number of ways. The game world is beautiful, massive, and diverse. A sprawling, satirical reimagining of modern Southern California, covering mountains and oceans, expensive stores and strip malls, urban decay and untouched wilderness, beaches and backwoods, the sublime and the ridiculous, greed and hypocrisy. You tell me exactly what you want, and I will very carefully explain to you why it cannot be. What? So what are we doing here? We're working, amigo. For the first time, the game features not one, but three would-be heroes. So now what? Michael, a once successful bank robber, and now less successful family man. You know, you're a real asshole. What did you just say to me? Stop it! You're ruining my yoga! Franklin. A hungry street hustler convinced he's surrounded by morons. We can't repo the assets of a dead man, big sitting cheap asshole. And then there's Trevor. The less said about him, the better. Ah! Introducing three lead characters transforms both the narrative into one interwoven story and the structure of individual missions. Players can cut between vantage points. Yeah, I can use a little backup here. And from one high octane moment to another. Got you. He's got support! Get us out of here! Roger that! This helps to give missions new levels of diversity and intensity. Damn. When not on a mission, the use of three lead characters also allow for a touch of voyeurism. As you can drop in at any moment and find out what your new friends have been up to as they go about their days. Jeez, Pop. Too much more of that and maybe I won't be dead by 35. The world is not only huge, it's packed with a vast array of things to see and do. Cars to customize. Planes to fly. Clothes to buy. Sports to play. Nirvanas to pursue. Oceans to dive. Animals to spot, hunt, and be hunted by. Freaks to watch, meet, and befriend. Now get the hell out of here! Bounties to hunt. And on and on. How have you been? Oh! Simply wonderful. And you? Somewhere stuck between joyful and peachy. There's also been a huge focus on mechanics in the game. To make every aspect as fun and fluid as it is broad. 
Everything from driving and shooting to tennis and bike riding feels fun and responsive. However, alongside all of this leisure, people also have to take care of business. For all their pretensions, these men are dangerous thieves. It's an industrial area, right? So I'm thinking vehicles. Trash truck to block, tow truck to sack. To survive, they have to set up and pull off a series of increasingly audacious heists. Gentlemen, some plans for your attention. The player sets these up themselves, then decides how they execute them and with whom. There's two ways I see of doing this. We go in smart, let's go. Or we go in loud and dumb. Let's go! This is your moment! Please don't make me ruin all the great work your plastic surgeons have been doing! After the take is divided, you decide what to spend your money on. Anything from sensible investments, like tattoos and fast cars, to risky ventures like stocks and Los Santos real estate. And then there's Grand Theft Auto Online, which we will show you properly soon. With Grand Theft Auto Online, Rockstar Games is looking to bring the heart of the Grand Theft Auto experience to a living online world with multiple players. Just what you choose to do in that world is up to you. The game combines a persistent and continually expanding world full of personalities. Welcome to paradise. <laughs> oh, that was awkward with a wide array of redesigned mechanics. And a huge range of both structured and unstructured activities for you to do. After you fly into Los Santos, you're introduced to the world and its many opportunities for earning and spending money. You need to better representate yourself, you know what I'm talking about? Having fun and getting into trouble. You can run around on your own making friends and enemies. Or band together and form a crew. Then tackle a heist, rob a liquor store, or compete in classic online modes. Or do much more besides. Complete any job and you'll make money and earn reputation. Then, you can spend petty cash customizing your character, their outfit, weapon of choice, or favorite vehicle. As you make some real money, maybe you can buy an apartment, so friends can stop by and hang out. Or buy a garage, fill it with custom vehicles, and then take them racing by land, air, and sea. Or simply cruise around showing off. Everything you do helps you progress through the world, introducing you to new characters. Now keep your mouth shut about me, you hear? New missions, rewards, and almost limitless opportunities. Rockstar will be constantly developing more content for you to enjoy, but you'll also be able to design your own races and death matches using the content creator. Then you can share them with friends and the world. Or try ones other people have made. Grand Theft Auto Online brings the freedom of the Grand Theft Auto experience to multiple players in a dynamic shared world. A few weeks ago, I was happily sulking by my swimming pool. What do you want? I just came by to see if there's something I can help you with. I'm retired. My psychotic best friend shows up out of nowhere. Nobody tells me what I want! To torture me over mistakes I made over a decade ago. So you're back in the game? I guess. Yes! Woo! Welcome back, man!
We're all professionals. We all know the score. This is legit business. 401ks, tax returns, and all. We're gonna move quick, and we're gonna keep cool. My job, my score, get your own! You are alone, you pathetic psychopath! Those are group hugs out of the question. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto V, coming September 17th. Rated M for Mature.